Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. Yes, it has been a hot minute since I've done a video. More on that later. But the gear for this evening is going to be PAA's CAD. This is in the CK1, I think, formula. The one before CK6. That one. Uh, this is one of the very first artisanal soaps I purchased years ago. Uh, and I can actually see through. I can see light to the bottom. It's it's coming to an end. Uh, everything has been whipped up in the HCNC Lather Bowl. I absolutely love this thing. The brush this evening is an old Smiles for Miles. This is a vintage number four, uh, what he called it. Don't remember what wood that is. Uh, I believe this is a, not quite tuxedo or not. Maybe it's a tuxedo. Very nice synthetic knot in here. The razor is going to be the Feather SS Kamasori style replaceable blade barber's razor chivet. Feather Kamasori Shivet. Why don't you go with that route? So, as I mentioned, it's been a hot minute since I've done a video. And the reason behind that is work is now requiring us to go in two days a week unless you live 50 miles from the office. I live 48 miles from the office. So I get to go in twice a week. Uh, my team, well, more on that later as well. It was decided that my department and professional services implementation managers would go in on Wednesdays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Got lather flying everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. I was excited when we tried to go back to the office two days a week. Uh, we go on the Tuesdays and Thursdays. That was when I was on a different team. Uh, most of my, a lot of, not most, but quite a few people on that team were in the office or still are in the office. I'm not on that team anymore. I've been switched over to a different team. This is Commissory. That handles all of our digital products. The only problem with that is I'm on kind of a sub team. On that digital team that handles a specific type product, that's it. That's kind of, I'm dedicated to this product after two of my other projects go live. So before, I was on the on a team that handled very large accounts for implementation, and then I was put on a tiger team that was doing these digital products, and it was this one product, and that's it. There's me and this other guy. That's that's what we did. Um, and then they created a digital team. Most people on tiger team are on that team. And I was working on those products, but then this other product from a company we purchased a couple years ago. They want to see autonomous and kind of do their own products and pro product and projects. So that, that product when it's purchased from a customer is going to be of its own phase. But they quickly learn that they don't have the manpower to support our substantial sales staff size. So they've asked for help to help to learn this product and implement it. So now I'm on this sub team. for this product, and I say I'm on the sub team, I'm, I've been deemed the process owner, formerly SME or subject matter expert. 
on our side of the house for this product. So I've been working with this product for, well, learning this product now. We've been trying to shadow some projects, but they've all been hit or miss for a good chunk of time. Uh, so now I'm kind of pseudo managing this other team of managers. There's three of us, four of us total. Then I'm kind of, you know, I'm leading team to team calls every week and But I'm not a manager, I don't have any managerial responsibilities. But the kicker is the digital team. The only person that is in this state besides me is my boss. And he lives in St. George, which he doesn't come to the office because that's greater than 50 miles. The other closest person on my team, the overall larger team, is in Idaho. A good three or so hour drive from the office. So everyone else is remote, they're in other states. Then on this other, the pseudo team, or this team that I'm pseudo managing, pseudo leading, closest person there is uh, New York, kind of upstate New York, the other one is in North Carolina. And those in the Philippines. And the people, the, the team um, from the company that we purchased, they're all in California. So there is absolutely zero individuals in the office with whom we need to interact. for these projects. So I go to the office, sit at my desk, and do everything via Teams and email, like I do from home. But the the main CEO of the, or the CEO of the, the company They're based in New Jersey. I'm in the corporate office for my division, but the new, the president of my division is also in New Jersey. Our, long story, our previous CEO of our division, who founded the company that I work for that was purchased by another big company, uh, he re, he's retiring. So our president is in New Jersey. Our old CEO is here in Utah. But the CEO is pushing for everyone to come back to work five days a week in the office. Luckily, our division president is saying, no, two days a week in the office is fine. But the kicker is they're keeping track of who's going into the office and how often. So by requirement, I'm supposed to be in the office eight days a month to get that two days a week mark, which is you know normally fine. But if you go on vacation, you are still expected to be in the office eight days a month. So for example, I'm heading, I'm getting ready to head out on my, what's well, pretty much become an annual trip to Tennessee. And I will be gone. 
um, from Monday after work, I'm leaving, until the following Tuesday, I'll be coming back on Wednesday after I start my vacation. So I'm going to like a week and a half, basically a week and a day. But because of the policy and keeping track of that, we had to, to run a report to go, oh, this people are on vacation this long during the this month, and they only got this amount of time in. I was expecting to get that eight, eight days a month. I don't recall if I mentioned this on a previous video or not. But because I live 48 miles from the office, I take the train. And it takes me two hours to get to work. And two hours to get home. So, four hour commute. To and from work. That's like LA traffic commute. It's awful. And because of the commute, to be in my office by 8 o'clock, I have most of my calls starting. I'm leaving my house just before 6 a.m. The catchy 615 train. And then I get home. You know, get home, have dinner, hang out with the kids and family. And uh, after the kids go to bed, I start my bedtime routine basically so I can get up and either be at work in my home office by 7 so I can answer emails from my customers that are in Europe for those projects or I'm getting up at 5 so I can go catch a train. Which usually I'm so tired I don't feel like recording after those long days. And because I'm going into work taking four hours to and from on a train that doesn't have the best, most comfortable seats in the world. And uh, bumpy as I'll get up if you ever taken a commuter train, they're not comfortable. It's aggravating my back. So some days I just hurt too much to even stand and record. I get in here, I shoot as quick as possible, and out the door. So. Another reason why I haven't been doing a whole lot of shooting on camera. Pain. Lack of time. Also, I'm not buying any new gear. I have a lot of soap. Plenty of blades. If you remember a couple videos back, more than a couple, many months ago, I mentioned that uh, my family got a we got a teardrop trailer. So when a lot of my time has been looking at stuff I want to do to customize my trailer, personalize, I should say. So let's take a little bit of my time as well. So that's a really good shape. Usual spots with uh, any kind of razor have a little bit of residual hair, but 
Nothing bad. Finish off with some witch hazel. We'll call it good. So, basically with work, plus everything else going on in life, because, you know, life isn't busy enough. Now I have the fact that I'm gone for like 12 plus hours a day. Just to go in the office for two days a week. And everything else going on with family, school, for the kids, not me. Uh, and all that. Times are premium and there's just days where I'm just too bad to record. So, re releases will be sporadic. I'm not, I can't do the two weeks or two videos a week that I have been that I was doing prior to my last <laughs> big, like, big like four month break. Uh, that's just not doable with um, my physical health right now. Uh, hopefully I'll do a more than one video every month and a half or one every two months, however long it's been since my last video. I don't remember. Anyway, I'm starting to ramble, getting on past 16 minutes. So most of you already dropped off by now. So I'm going to cut it off tonight. And I want to thank you all for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you're so inclined. If not, whatever. Anyway, thanks again, and I'll catch you all next time.